Greetings, my fellow Sumatories and Crunkers, and welcome to the stream! Tonight, we're checking out Episode 2 of Flappertron. Now, originally I was planning to do more Pokemon Sword at night, but yesterday I was thinking, no! You know what? I kinda wanna do Flappertron instead. Because I've done five Pokemon Sword streams in a row since its release, and while I'm still enjoying the crap out of it, I really need to give our game some spotlight, so yeah. <laughs> Tonight's gonna be a Flabatron stream. Now, to those who missed the first stream I've done this game, allow me to catch up to speed. Um, this right here is an indie game that I streamed back in early September this year, made by Dexter Manning and his Manning Media Development Team. I took a look at everything the first episode had to offer, mostly survival mode, and some of the main game here. Main game. So yeah, anyway, um, I checked out the first few chapters of this game, mainly the prologue and the first three chapters. And with episode 2's release, that being a few weeks ago, we now have access to chapters 4 through 7, as well as a new survival mode boss, which I'll go more into later, but for now, it's finally time we continue the main game. So let's dive right in to chapter 4, page 4, of yo Watch The Later Years. I mean, Flabatron. <laughs> so yeah, chapter 4. Let's do this thing! Back in the bar again, it looks like. We're going back to this fancy bar! You really saw nothing, 100%. Look, is this one of those riddles or trick questions, pal? I told you, I just got back from draining my sea monster. <laughs> stole that line from the king. <laughs> you stole that line from King Harkonnen? How dare you! You must eat his shit! <sighs> Alright, fine. Well, congratulations, you solved the riddle! Yay! You deserve a reward! Too bad I got nothing on you. For you. Yeah. You're one weird pal, pal. Double water. I'm alright for now, thanks. Guess who's back, bro? Any luck? Sorry, Nate, dude. They just laughed a lot. I could hear people in the background laughing too, bro. <laughs> the laughing was so contagious. <laughs> even I started laughing. <laughs> I'm starting to crack up even now just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, hey, sorry, bro. Man, they are useless. I appreciate the effort, though, and you getting here as soon as you could. Yeah, sorry I was late, dude. Family issues, you know it is. But, you know, I'm always down for the drama, dude. <laughs> Were you waiting long? Half an hour? I don't even know. It feels like I've been here forever. I've been freaking out, honestly. Times like this, I wish I never gave up drinking. I mean, holy shit, what even is this situation? Uh, maybe we should move so we're not in earshot, dude? We're discussing the pros and cons of gluten and how it affects my vegan diet. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in the back not participating in this conversation. Need me, just holler. Better than a doorknob in here anyway. Smooth, bro. I'm lucky no one was around when it happened. I'll be prime suspect for sure. The power of signposts, my dude. Maybe Chef Danelab could help? He treats you like a king. That's only because of my dad, dude. What about your your dad then, LB? I mean, he's in waste management or something, right? Millionaire. Surely he could just throw money at the problem and it'll be solved in 10 seconds. That's not how money works, dude. Besides, you know how much he hates me. No way he'll even look in my face without wanting to reach for the scissors and chop off my dreads, bro. You know I have family issues to the max, dude. Well, Poppy has kidnapping issues to the max currently. Yeah, sucks too, bro. He owns like six helicopters or something wild like that. Way to rub salt in my wound and stamp on it after. Surely he'd let us use one, or he can fly it. Maybe we could fly it. I don't know. We could fly away now! He makes me sleep in a tin outside the manor, man. You're not the only bro in this multiverse with a restraining order, dude. Well, maybe if he didn't waste all your money on roulette every day, he wouldn't have to! Sorry, that wasn't called for. I'm lashing out. Nah, you're right. But it's how I get my kicks these days, bro. <laughs> Regardless, a helicopter ain't gonna happen in this lifetime. You've got more chance wrapping your legs inside your mouth hole first try, bro. Fuck me, what do I do? Problem is, if I file a missing persons report, they're gonna ask questions. And even if I do it anonymously, they're gonna track her down to her last whereabouts, which was with me. 
Even if no one was around to see it, there's surely CCTV around here. Essentially, I can say bye-bye to my life. <sighs> oh my god, this is such a mess. Dude, did they kill her? No, they just grabbed and bagged her, lobbed her into some van and hauled us out of there. Well, there you go, dude. She's gonna be fine. It'll be like on the newest season finale of Desperate Millennials, bro. They just kidnap Wilma to discuss shopping and other conversational topics. That's a major spoiler, by the way. Dude. Stop the spoilers! Oh, hey, dude. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> just saw you in chat. Let's see. How y'all doing in that, guys? I'm in Dallas, Texas, visiting my dad for Christmas break. Oh, cool! That's cool, you okay, lover. Something about this reminds me of Penny Arcade. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, home stock fan. I don't think they've kidnapped her to discuss the increase in effects of petrol prices, LB. Oh, you're pretty riled up, bro. Don't think I've ever seen you like this before. Your eyes are wide and everything. He's got special eyes. My ex just got kidnapped, the police are useless, and I'm screwed out of a lead as to who snapped her up. So excuse me if my ass may be somewhat more clenched than usual. Are you seriously texting right now? No, dude, I mean, yes, I am, but you know it is. Always gotta reply to your online hoes and bros, dude. Come on, LB, focus. Okay, sorry, I get it. Serious situation, bro. So, what's your next move? She obviously knew she was in danger. She must know something damaging to somebody out there. I should have just told her to shut up and get to the point. This nice guy routine is really biting me in the ass lately. Well, who are the prime suspects, dude? At this point, I don't know. Could be the ghost of Marley Gray for all I know. I throw on yokai, Hana. But I can take her out in one hit. Nah. The what now? I don't know, I made it up a while ago. Oh, <laughs> I like it, dude. She did say she found some weird place before they took her away, though. I've decided. You ordering the steak after all, dude? I'm heading to a family's place. Gonna look for a clue, hack a computer, do some CSI shit, find any sort of lead I can grasp onto. I don't know, anything. CSI Flavatron. for your first try at a password, bro. It's what I would use if I were a dude. Not that I would use that for myself. For my password. Please don't take my money. <laughs> Have you got my back on this, LB? It's cool if you want to walk away, because things might get dangerous from here on out. Clearly, Poppy is in something deep, so if we go on after her, we'll most likely be in danger too. I ain't just got your back, I've got your entire body, dude! Just my back for now is fine. Here, take my keys. Bro, the keys of Flappertron! They're mine! All of mine! I don't know how long I'm gonna be, so I need you to take care of Calvin for me. If he doesn't get his eight bowls per day of garbage, he goes into a comatose state. Yeah, I got this, Nate. You can count on me to keep your dog as a beast as possible, dude. I'm counting on you, LB. Thanks a lot. Keep the change. But you didn't give me any change. That's what they all say. Asshole. Two out of five stars. Car smell to farts. <laughs> now how do I even go about doing this? Oh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Winks. Your daughter's been kidnapped. You mind if I hack her phone or anything I can get my hands on to hopefully find her whereabouts? No, we hate you, Nathan. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Apparently geniuses talk to themselves, you know. Looks like sneaking through the window it is. You know it's rude to listen in on other people's self-conversations. Now if I've judged this correctly and not been a moron, Poppy's room should be here. Windows open, operation commencing. Go through the window. Does it? No! Ah! Ow! Ow! That was not part of the plan! What the shit? Nathan? 
Uh, oh, hi, hi, Mrs. Winks. Hope you've been doing swell. Could have sworn this was Poppy's room. Poppy's room is next door. A slight miscalculation on my part. What the hell are you doing here? You hurt my baby! You had another kid? A bad man hurt me. Oh, God. <laughs> the boom Boom Man needs urgent medical attention, too. Boss Baby 2 leaked footage. No, wait, no, wait. <laughs> the outfit just reminded me of something. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. Check it out. <laughs> it's Baby Diddy Kong. I know I'm your pal and all, but don't you think this is going a little far to help you? <laughs> he has his head shaved and everything. Check it out. Nice one, you sneak you. Okay, back to the game. Uh, Mr. Winks? Oh, there, there, little doodle bug put him. Don't cry. Come to mama. We'll attach Mr. Boom Boom to a firework later and blow his cuddly ass up. What do you say, Snuggle Pub? Yay! Well, this is a curveball. You've been spying on us? You recording this for some adult baby kink shaming documentary or something, huh? Huh? I can think of nothing worse, so no way, you've got it all wrong! Why is the bad man judging us, Mommy? Because he's a vanilla, close-minded cake shamer! I bet he hasn't even experienced a sour body dampening or a steaming fetus clap! I'm afraid to look these up. <laughs> I don't care what you guys are into and what you do in your bedroom, that's your business! Then why are you intruding said bedroom and making it your business? Meh, meh, I don't like yelling. Oh, Ducky needs changing. Ducky has done major poo-poos and wee -wees. Mm, I can smell it. Yes, good boy. Yes, keep that stench nice and potent for Mama. But now be a bad time to ask some questions, or... How dare you come into our home and defile our sexual acts? I've worked my ass off all my life. The least I can do is enjoy my desires in peace. I just wanted to get into Poppy's room! And that makes it better, you weird little vanilla, simple, non-experimental stalker! Okay, I'll admit, I set myself up for that one. You're a bad man! You make Dougie smell! Kink shamer! It's people like you that make my blood boil! Accept my baby! Because this baby is going to be on board for a long time. Mommy is funny! Hey, I know a few baby jokes. I can defuse this entire situation by making you crack a smile. Yeah, Dougie like. What's the difference between a baby and a piñata? I don't set the piñata on fire. Hmm, usually goes down a tree to baby showers. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Ah, screw it. I'm offended at your baby joke. Now you've made me break character. You really are a bad man. Ever heard jokes like that? <laughs> I've heard better jokes from a fetus, and I'm not even kidding, too, so don't think I'm kidding, or I swear I won't change your die for you, little baby vanilla kitchen. It's kitchen gun time. All right, what do we got to learn this time? Or will spawn above your head, as well as three variants of that word. Make sure to shoot the correct one, or you'll take damage. The spell can swap between one or more multiple words. It's big brain time. Okay. Puzzle bubble. Shoot at the left of the puzzle to take control of it with your mind. Use left and right to move it and use the button that comprehends or corresponds <laughs> with that way to flip it. So we gotta flip it around and stuff. Okay. Puzzle pieces and shit. They're jiggies. They're jiggy bubbles. You ready for this? Yep. Go! Uh, uh Okay, there we go. Every adult baby is an artist. Bobby! Ow! Yeah, should aim for the middle one first. Oh. 
It's been a while since I've played this, so I gotta get used to the controls again. Give me credit. A hint of <laughs> oh, this one. Commencing toxic waste disposal. Here's a present. Oh boy. <laughs> Nice. Oh, holy shit. I think I just shat it. Heads up. Charlie. Stick me, go dead, dead. Oh, holy shit. Now. Oh, wrong one. A treat for the nostrils. Commencing toxic waste disposal. Catch. Bobby. Oh, holy shit. On the mill right there. Down goes baby deads. Oh. You make Dougie's eyes leak. Oh. Forgot all about those balls right there. Oh god, some brewing. Catch. Damn. Look, Ma, no head. Doggy soil. Okay, I think we're gonna die here. Come on, there we go. Okay. Now. You make Dougie's eyes leak. Man, this is really hard right here. Oh boy. It's changing time. Heads up. Dougie soiled. No, I won't. That was a close one. A delight to the sense. This stinks almost as bad as you. Heads up. Okay, I can probably get it. Okay, we nearly got her. Just gotta make sure not to die here. Oh boy! But that said roll for a second there. Now, keep your sick fascist to yourself. Shit, brain dead. Good boy, Dougie. Now, sit on his head. <laughs> no, oh man, we nearly got her that time. <laughs> Damn it. All right, let's try again. Go. Oh. Hit the wrong button there. This is just the beginning. This is the beginning of the end. This stinks almost as bad as you. Have a taste. Damn. A midnight snack. A diarrhea steamer. Look, Ma, no head. Oh, run button again. <laughs> Just stop doing it. It's war. Two war. This is for you. Yeah. Just bear with me. Bobby! 
Okay. Some of them. A Cleveland steamer. Yep. You make Dougie's eyes leak. Oh, how I enjoy the sprinkling. Ski, ski, ski. It's cascading cleanses. It's on my chest. And a fresh first start to every day. Oh, wrong one. Look, ma, no hit. This is your future. Get your gun. It's war. Two wars. This is for you. Soiled. I think I just shat it. Heads up. Fancy cow. Come on, he's nearly dead. Okay, one more should do it. Some of them. I won! And expect to be that long and hard. Holy crap. Long and hard. Okay, let's continue. What happens next? I'm done yelling at you. I need to save the energy to yell at Dougie when he sucks on my teeth too tightly. But Dougie always a good boy. Goo -goo -goo. Are you going to explain to me what the hell you are doing here, Vanilla Boy? Haven't you hurt this family enough already? Shit, I'm gonna have to lie. If they go to the police and bring up the CCTV footage, or just know I've made contact with Poppy, they're gonna know about my violation, and it's off to the morgue with me. Me and Poppy are fine now. She came to my workplace today and everything's cool. She told me to meet her here, and I know you guys aren't exactly part of my fan club right now, so I use my ninja abilities to sneak in. Clearly she's out though, and her phone's dead. Any ideas where she might be? Jeez, I'm actually pretty good at this lying thing. Why, in the holy goon of goons, would we tell you where she is? You've clearly been stalking her! Goo goo, ga ga ga! Ah, screw it. Martha, stop it. Look, Nathan, we haven't seen Poppy in ages. You mean, she didn't come home after a deep soul-searching journey or whatever? Hmm. She left for her trip, but we've rarely heard from her since. The odd text update every now and then. Not that we mind, as we get the house to ourselves all the time now. <laughs> Stop laughing! While I'm thoroughly enjoying the creepy giggles, I need to know when the last time you spoke to her was. It's important. Ugh, I don't know! She updated us a few days ago? Interrupted Dougie's bath time. <laughs> Stop. She said she was staying at her friend's place and that she would visit soon, okay? Will you kindly get out of my life now? Get out of my life! Where's this friend? Where does she work? God, I sound like an interrogator. Jeez, you're more needy than Dougie, holy shit! It's her old high school friend Jasmine, all right? Last I heard, she was working at Baby Dolls. It's a club. Baby Dolls, huh? Sounds like it's right up your alley. If you see her, tell her we're worried, will you? We miss her dearly, but do it in a way that doesn't imply we want her to live back here again, okay? I'll see what I can do. I'll leave you two with your antics. It's an escape. What? 
This adult baby business. I don't expect you to understand. You're right, I don't understand. But what I do understand is what I already said. What you get up to behind closed doors is your business. Hmm. I appreciate that, Nathan. Maybe I was wrong to yell at you. Definitely damaging to the ears, not gonna lie, but it's cool. I'll let myself out. Don't tell Poppy about this, please. I don't think she'd understand. Of all people, she'll be the one to understand. See ya. So where were we, sweet pea? Goo goo, gaga, ducky so smelly. Smells like freedom. Okay, let's just let's just move on, please. <laughs> God. Question mark, 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 mark. Who the hell knows? <laughs> cool location name. Ah, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Oh my god, oh my god, help, anybody, help, help. Oh, can't panic, can't panic. Okay, okay, what do I do? I mean, I mean, don't panic. Okay, I'm chained up to some... Uh, pillar? I'm kidnapped? Why? 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 Am I? Am I gonna die? <laughs> this is bad. She is awake. I was starting to wonder if I would ever have to budge from this throne, but nope. Here we are. What is your name again? I'm not that great at remembering them. Is this Star Wars Episode Ten? Holy shit! It's a lovely name, isn't it? I will be sure to try my best to remember it well. <laughs> I do hope you were careful on your way here. You weren't followed, were you? <laughs> so you were followed. <laughs> Useless. Annoying, pathetic, useless. Who are you? Where the hell am I? Answer me! Have you seen your current situations? I don't think you're in any position to make any sort of demands. What about the bathroom, at least? I need the toilet. It's so badly. Please. <sighs> Fetch me a bucket and be quick about it, will you? So you're not a complete monster? Depends. I would choose your words very carefully going forward. Do you believe in destiny, Poppy? Fate, perhaps? No, I don't. Interesting. I wonder if by the end of the day you will be thinking very differently. Why have you taken me? For, for a ransom? Are you guys some sort of sex pervert sickos? Or got some giant mega dilled contraptions waiting for me? Oh god. My, that is quite the imagination you have there. Uh, no, it's, it's nothing quite of that nature, albeit a lot more exciting. Then what do you want with me? I'll let you ponder on the reasons why a little longer. Makes it more interesting when I tell you. What is wrong with you? I'm not quite sure myself. When you've interrogated, captured, tortured so many people in a lifetime, it just kind of makes you switch off from empathy, you know? I wish I felt sorry for you, but you're meant for a higher cause than you know. I think you've got too many screws loose with your little outfit and your space mask, okay? I think I'm the one who should be feeling sorry for you. Well, that is unexpected. Though I am glad you're feeling brave, little girl. Because you could be stuck here a very, very long time. When your use is finally needed, you'll be begging and screaming for me to kill you. To end your suffering. I want you to remember how brave you were, so you best remember this moment. The calm before the storm, if you will, when you're thrust headfirst into the thick of it. Now, you just sit tight, 
Oh, stand tight, brother, and play your part of the damsel. Not in distress, of course, but in absolute misery. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. Your bucket, Miss Poppy. Leave it in the corner. This is a bucket. No! If the lady would like to pee so badly, then I say we let her. No way! Pain and murdering is one thing, but making me piss myself? You're really that cruel? <laughs> what in the world? Uh, even moving a bucket is proving difficult for you, isn't it? I don't know why I even bother keeping you around. <laughs> that was uncalled for. Was it? I don't recall ever asking for your opinion. You'll be more careful now, won't you? Stay here and keep watch of this girl. Surely you can do that right. <laughs> As for you, Poppy, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Any problems, pick them up with Turkler over there. Farewell! Well, that was something. Main game. What? Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was expecting a notification right there, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, chapter five. Let's get to it. And when he opened the box, there was five. Sugar, baby dolls is right on our doorstep. Thank you very much. Enjoyed the conversation too. Your knowledge about all those varieties of lamps was stimulating. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you've been converted too. Why, of course. Who can resist that thumbs up pose and that deliciously charming catchphrase? I know I can. You should look into joining our cause, Sugar. Oh, uh, catch later, Hector. I think I'll pass. I have sensitive thumbs, so I'm screwed on the catchphrase front. Thanks for the ride. A text from LV? Oh, it's the selfie of him and Calvin. Oh, he's so cute! He's such a cute little boy! What the fuck did you just say to me? Huh? Oh, sorry, I wasn't talking about you. So you don't think I'm cute? Is that a trick question? Show me some ID, bitch. That's not nice, is it? Your face ain't nice. You're definitely abusing your powers as doorman. Though you have to admit the term doorman just sounds like a really shit superhero. Open doors for the elderly. Thank you, doorman. Doorman saves the day. Yay. Went a bit off topic there, didn't I? Here, my ID in all its glory. <laughs> nice. Born on April Fool's Day. Cool. Mark your calendars, guys. This is Nate Adams. I mean, Nate Flappatron's birthday right here. Might be important. Nathan Flappatron, huh? What kind of incest ridden pal did you roll in from to get named like that? Who knows, but I'm assuming it's near your neck of the woods, judging from your inbreddish features. You dingy little ass maggot, I'm gonna... Attack me? No, I won't rip out your throat and shove it down my own throat. I'm not violent in any way. I'm, I'm not. I am peaceful. I don't want to die. Do you need me to call your guardian or anything? Just go on through and leave me alone to wallow with my despair, you dutch nozzle. Oh, cool. Cheers. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Oh, God, is this a strip club? <laughs> Are you 
saying that you belong at strip club? Juniors? Hey, how's it going? Can I get a water, please? Double? I get it. Because water isn't an alcoholic beverage, and you ask for a double. I love my life. Yeah, girl, sure is a crazy world we live in, what with dry jokes about fluids and whatnot. Double water coming right up. Life is fantastic. Is this a club or a social suicide watch gathering? Jeez. Hey, big boy. You think I'm big? You're gonna make me paranoid about my weight now. <laughs> funny. I like a funny guy. Here's another given. I don't think I've ever heard anyone complain of a guy being too funny before. Whoa, hold up. You're pregnant. Oh, and super observant too. You wanna touch it? 50 goon lengths. Wait, now that I look around, every dancer in here has a little goon in the womb. This is a fetish club, honey. If you ain't paying to touch my little bun in the oven, I gots to move on. I got two mouths to feed. Enjoy yourself now. First farting, now this. Good god. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Fetishes the Stream. What is this game? Seriously? <laughs> Now, why Mrs. Winks knows about Jasmine's whereabouts. It's time for the next performer of the night. She's been up to stuff four times that I have my personal belongings set on fire by my crazy ex girlfriend. <laughs> Top is the best of. Is this totally spies the game, Moz? I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't like this last time I streamed it. Target found. Here's your drink, sir. Uh, where? I don't see anything. It's imaginary. Oh, oops. I thought you asked for an invisible double water. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I'm not invisibly flipping you off right now. Huh, can't believe I didn't notice that you were pregnant too. I'm not pregnant. Right. Thanks for the drink. Keep the invisible tip. Don't mean to interrupt the pole fondling, but uh, Jasmine, right? Can't you see she's working, loser? Keep shaking, baby. You mean her or the small baby in her belly? Bow! Duh! Jasmine, hey, seriously, I need to talk to you. I did you just hear me, wound blocker? She's working. Go back to your little peasant seat and watch what you wish you could have. Selfie. Hashtag I'm rich. Joe Swanson. Holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm Joe Swanson. I'm not handicapped anymore. I can walk. Ha 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 ha! He's pretending not to know me, guys. He's pretending not to know me. Oh, thanks for the subscription. Yes, B S G L S six twenty. It tattoo says Blaze Penguin. Eighty nine. Ha! So you do know me. At least you're covered if you ever suffer from sudden amnesia. <laughs> you're just jealous, cause you are a social media star like me. I'm more chiseled than an angel. More buff than an attack boost, hashtag buff that is. And I could do a really funny impression of a parrot. It's a streamer! I chiseled him, Mario! Like an angel! Bully! What a cracker! I think I found my new idol. Good for you! Say, I knew you'd become a blazing in a heartbeat. Say, knew you'd become a blaze like in a heartbeat. Wait, I just said that. What's your handle name anyway, so I can dislike everything you exist on? Nathan Flappatron would be it, I guess. Flappatron! More like Fappatron, huh? That's one for the highlight reel, Blazelings. Oh, thanks for the free money. I mean, donation, Mr. Pedo Tree. <laughs> You're streaming this right now? Streamception, holy shit. Hello, and welcome to my co-stream stream. 
24-7, man. My blazelings are always with me, even when I sleep. Hashtag watch me scream in my sleep. I'm so dedicated that I've even had surgery on my right hand, so it's impossible for me to grab my penis in case I feel tempted to jack off again. Instead, they have a constant thumbs up from me to remind them that they're paying for my lifestyle. The doctor said my right arm is four times larger than my left because of my own ways. But due to me living with my deformity and being proud of my huge masturbatory arm, I am now an inspiration to the masses and my community. Selfie hashtag food porn. Did I say right? I meant left. May have to delete this stream later now. Collab. Yup. The Master of Zorak X Blaze Penguin 89 stream. The crossover of a century. Oh yeah. How the hell do you stream 24-7 anyway? Surely all your equipment would die. Ha! Ah, my equipment runs off thermal energy. Get with the times. The cables stay inside my rectum. And the warmth from my insides keeps me live forever. Wow. So you're literally somewhat talking out your ass. I have to say, this has been fascinating, but I need to speak to this chick molesting this pole, so if you'll excuse me, please. Oh, great one. <laughs> I already said no! I have way more fans than you, which makes you an irrelevant peasant. By just being in my presence, you've disrespected me! Oh, here we go again. You're irrelevant! You'll never be as cool as I am, or even close to how cool I am. Even Polly can't be as cool as I am. Cause even oh, I must really hate Polly Roger from the Donkey Kong Country show. <laughs> Alright, what do I gotta learn here? Single lane. Shit is getting real now. Sometimes the lanes will transform into a single lane. When this happens, move left and right to control your line of sight. And use any of the lane charge buttons, things, to hold down and use a charge shot. You'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. Like and dislike bubble. Your like dislike ratio will determine how much damage you can output. Ooh. Interesting. Target bubbles. Target bubbles only appear on the single lane. They come in color variants and will move in different ways. Different wa. Different wa. Yeah, it says different wa. That's how it's supposed to be spelled. Don't. Yep, yep. Definitely not wasted. Still see wa. Yep. In different wa. To each other. Ready up a shot and aim for that sweet spot. It's in the middle bit. Wow. All right. Time for a streamer death match. Get ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Every blaze link, bro. It's really a streamception. Holy crap. Ow. Ow. This filter is so mad. Donation. Ow. Oh, yes, you had to do here. Oh, crap. Get him, blaze links. This is the best day of your life. I oh. guess you could say that. This is the most honorable day of my life. Let's add this to your sad story. Oh boy. Let's add this to your sad story. You're alive, but soon to be dead. Ow. I should probably hit instead of charging it up. What? Do kick your ass. Get him, blaze legs. Ah. Irrelevant peasant. Oh crap! Too fast. This is a true highlight. Donation.
There we go. Even money is boring now. Click the bow to receive pay. It's a big thumbs up. Get all the honey for this fun. Now this time. Oh, catch Larry Savvy. Click my sponsor, you farm yard animal. Reviewers. Reviewers. Like speaking of sponsors, like I have one of my own right now. I'm part of a stream team now, and yeah. I'm officially a streamer for a month now, so it's been pretty cool. Uh, Instructed. Okay, I'll talk more about it after the chapter's over. For now, I really gotta focus on taking down Joe Swanson. Oh crap. And I'm dead. Brain dead. Who needs boobs when I can lure my viewers in with dead bodies? Now that's relevant. F. Look at all those Fs. <laughs> Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying, since I'm dead, I can talk about this, um... Yeah, I'm part of a stream team now, called The Fleet. It's a stream team by Armada, that consists of mostly Twitch affiliates, so... I join in, yeah, I'm officially a streamer for Armada. It's cool! Yeah. That's something that happened this week, and I'm pretty happy to be part of the TM. Cause I can accomplish so much more when I work together with them as a TM. Speaking of which, uh, let's try again, shall we? Let's try again! Go! Let's get right into your pants! You should have entered the Pure Heart Valley Fun War competition with a fun that big. You probably could have been Big Fun Pete. You're alive, but soon to be dead! The viewers! I should have hit the heart there. You deserve the dislikes. No hot though for me, man. I'm rich. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> that's rich. Make sure we can see my bolt. Find my life! Ouch! I like the power music though, it's pretty good. This is my gem! Let's add this to your sad story. Uh, Let's add keep getting distracted by a love bar. Story. Uh. Ouch. Let's add this okay, to that worked. Sad story. Let's add this to your sad oh, story. Oh. Yeah, I forgot those doing damage. <laughs> Let's add this to your sad story. Ah, there we go. Be shy. Hi. Make sure to tag me. Okay. Okay, full green. Stream, this is a river. Green oh, is my God. favorite Get color. My Victory. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens next when I hit continue here. Achievement unlocked pro streamer. <laughs> Thanks, Steam. Are you finally depleted? Ah, oh, how are you not crying? 
Your life sucks compared to mine. Look at my muscles, my money, my cars, my fame, my hair, my five camels I bought last week, my fans, my life. All of that may be true. Doesn't mean you're better than me, though. <laughs> this guy. Who's the man, fans? Hashtag I'm the man. See, look at all those messages and emotes. I'm the man. I'm relevant. They're probably kids who don't know any better, man. You're supposed to be a role model, not a douchebag. Ha! Ah, douchebag! I own five shiny cars, you know. Don't think you've ever mentioned that. Look, I'm sure deep down you're an alright guy, but don't assume because of your popularity or how many pointless cars you own, you're suddenly better than anyone else. That's not cool. Okay, Mr. Preachy. Sounds like something someone irrelevant would say. And that sounds like something someone insecure would say. Insecure? But I'm awesome! I mean, look at me! Look at me! Yeah, baby, take a good look! You're just lying! Insecure? Am I insecure? My fans will say that I'm not, huh? There's proof right there. Dumpsterfire32 says that I have cool hair. So you can put that in your pipe and smoke it until you choke. Well, if you need clarification from a nine-year-old, I mean... See, look! Look at the chat! Look at my tattoo! Look at my money! My personality! My personality! My... My personality. Oh, I need to use the bathroom, excuse me. Nice moonwalk there, bucko. Thanks. Appreciate you for scaring off one of my best customers like that. Don't worry, he'll be back. People don't change that quickly. What are you supposed to be? The ghost of people's inner demons? Not quite. Just some goon trying to find another goon. I'm looking for one specific goon, though. Apparently you and said goon are old friends. Well, whoever it is, I never heard of her. Whoever said anything about it being a woman? Ha ha ha! So you do know who I'm talking about. <laughs> that was creepy, sorry. Ah, I left myself open for that one, eh? Look, if you ain't here to shove the... Oh god, you're not about to give birth, are you? I'm not ready to be traumatized this early in the day. Meet me outside. Cinco minutos. Now we're getting somewhere. Does anyone have some sort of cloth I could use? Maybe a coaster of some sort? Damn it, I can never erase this from my stream. <laughs> Fix it in post. Unless there says post. Nate! Stop stealing Mario cigarettes! What's that, Lungs? You want me to quit? But quitting is easy. I've done it loads of times. People talk to their lungs, okay? It's a pretty normal thing. It is! I'm bringing it back. Estupido. Those things will kill you. Is that the obligatory line someone has to say when they walk out and see someone smoking? Seems like it. I'll try to change it up next time for you. Emphasis on next time. Your puppy sex, aren't you? Pole dancer and a mind reader. You're becoming more mysterious by the minute. And more pregnant. Mind reader? You got it all wrong. It's Mango. Man, who now? My sweet baby boy, mi niño chiquito. Your baby's name is Mango. Uh huh, Mango is my favorite fruit. Can't argue with that. Mango is special. I'm sure he'll lead a great life regardless. Not like that. He's been in my stomach for four years now. Four years? Is he just stubborn? Mango communicates with me. He talks to me through his kicks. I'm pretty good at having an open mind, but... What? Mango. He is the prophecy baby. His thoughts come directly from the gods. The prophecy. Oh, he's kicking. Yes? Hmm? The prophecy. 
What is he trying to tell you? Fifty goonlings. <laughs> Excuse me? What? You think Mongo gives out information for free? <laughs> este está loco. <sighs> Fine. Let's hope Poppy appreciates this. Oh, yes. Mango tells me that your name is Oliver Gorgon. You are on a mission, a mission of grave importance to solve the world's hardest jigsaw puzzle, the prophecy. Completely wrong. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Thanks for the cash. My nice scam, Jasmine. Real nice. You can keep the money. I don't care, but seriously, Poppy's life is in danger. If you really are her old friend like Mrs. Winks told me, then you gotta tell me what you know. The prophecy? There's another 50 in it if you tell me. There's not even much to tell. Her mom only knows she's with me because I felt guilty and told her. Mrs. Winks is a regular here, so I didn't want her to worry, you know? Puppy hasn't spoke to her in, like, forever. Me even longer. Not that I blame her, of course. When did you and your mind-reading baby feel her presence? A few days ago. She came into the club, all shady-like. I didn't even recognize her at all. Completely different to high school. You haven't seen her since high school? Are you sure you understand what the word friend means? No. To be honest, I, uh, I used to bully her. I wasn't exactly a nice kid. Not much has changed since then, eh? That's why she came here, you think? The last place anyone would look? I'm assuming so, yeah. I figured she was trying to hide from someone for sure. I agreed to room me up with her. She said it wouldn't be for too long and my place is just around the corner, you see? Oh, what else? Oh, she said her condition for moving in was for me not to tell anyone she was there. Like I said, pretty shady shit. But I guess I know what it's like to want to hide. Figure she was in trouble with a crazy ex or something. But you seem pretty harmless. What else? Did she say who she was hiding from? Where she had been? Uh, actually, we're right here. No te muevas. <laughs> she gave me this thing. Gamuya Triangle. <laughs> That's a cool looking triangle. Holy cannoli. Oh, hey, Hector, welcome back. Welcome back. What'd you miss? Yeah, um, as Duke just mentioned in chat, uh, I beat Joe Swanson. He's a streamer in this game. You just missed a crossover of a century, butko. Yeah, that's what you missed. That's what you missed on it, Ammon Sandy. Back to the gear. The map, huh? It's the map. It's the map. Give me a lunch, man. I mean, uh, how do we get here? She said if I didn't hear from her in a while, to give this to the police. To go here. I was curious and I looked online. It's just a bunch of mountains and a small lake. Middle of nowhere. Yeah, her deep soul searching breakup journey destination. So, are we done? Am I a hero now? <laughs> An anti-hero. Here's your goonlings. Thank you. Let me know when you find her. She's got rent to pay coming up. Assuming she's not in trouble, that is. Be more careful. What are you blabbering on about? I could have been anyone, and you gave up this information so easily. Poppy made a bad choice trusting in you. You're lucky I got here first. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. How did you know I was her ex, by the way? I guessed. You both give off the same vibe. See ya, lover boy. Mwah. I said take me off your bloody call list! Oh, wait, is this Nate? What's up, dude? LB, I need a massive favor. a nice noose laying around. Curse all this noise. Dad? Oh, it's just you. What is it, little bish? Can't you see I'm brooding? You know you can call me from your room with your fancy phone. 
This sounds like a mesh between Dr. Robotnik's theme and Super Paper Mario music. Weird. But it always goes to answer machine. Yes, well, you could just leave a nice little message for me after the beat then, can't you? I finished up my crutch training early. Kooya! So I thought I could come chillax with you, Dad. Fine, you can brood with me. Shouldn't we be gawking out the window and not at the wall? Let's look at the window! It doesn't matter where you stare at, little bish. It's all in the technique. Am I doing it right? Look more serious, like you want to cut the wall open with your eyes. Not bad for your first brood. By the way, I was thinking, uh, maybe we could, uh, sniff grass in the park like how we used to before I got my head smashed in. Don't. Don't what? Just don't, son. You're getting the hang of it. Don't know why, but she just popped in me head. I wish I knew what she was like. Would have been sick to have a mum. I know, son. She was a wonderful woman. So full of trivial facts about cutlery. That's what drew me to her. What about Auntie Agatha? Hmm. Just a faded memory. You don't ever truly forgive someone, little bish. You just overshadow them with something else. See? Just say a thought-provoking line and dwell on it as you stare. You're the master, Dad. You should get back to your room, little bish, before you accidentally slip on the carpet and get a severe carpet burn. Or something more damaging. Nothing is worse than a carpet burn, Dad. True. So make sure to equip your special elbow and knee pads next time, all right? Yes, sir. You know there's going to be a huge protest tomorrow at the Cripple Appreciation Ceremony. Way more people than today's protest, anyway. You've been browsing your little internets again, I take it. Browsing on the internet? Of course, that's where most of me time is spent these days, and most of me mateys are. Fit girl 145 such is going to be there tomorrow, too. Yeah? Well, you can tell Tit Girl 82 that protesting does nothing. Three years, countless protests, and look where it's got them. Goonlan is already in such divide over these laws anyway, so let them scream at each other through their social media and instant messaging and their poorly designed signs and all that other nonsense. I'll just brush it under the rug. But surely you've run out of rugs by now, Dad? Trust me. I have an entire back order of them. Social media and the news, they're so, they're so rude about you. Everyone is so hateful. I feel like we should do something. Even this new cult that's risen recently. They say the god of goonery is going to return and destroy us all. The situation's pretty wank. You don't believe that load of drivel, do you, little bish? I thought I raised you better than that. I'm just saying, Dad, things seem to be escalating. We need to do something. We gotta do something. We will do nothing, son. I will rule. They cannot deny their king. What I say goes. And if they disagree, then maybe I'll announce the law tomorrow with the death penalty for protesting, eh? Dad, that ain't cool. People will think you're a wrongin'. I was joking, son. Now, go back to your room. Come on, hop on it. You've got a day filled with web searches and video games. Or whatever it is you do in there. On second thoughts, I don't want to know. And add the brooding to your defense training regimen. You're doing well, son. Thank you. Well, that turret was better than the last one. Okay. Uh, okay, chapter six is next. What? Kenny? 
Or Lenny. <laughs> Not Kenny Lenny. This is Lenny the Shark. I think. It might be Lenny. I mean, after all, last time I streamed Yoko Watch 3, we ran into a shark, so... Maybe it is Lenny. Let me know, so... Let's dive right into Chapter 6, Page 6, and find out. I wonder if he ever got those crispy chicken fries from Burger King. This is it, dude. Let me give you the VIP tour. This is it, flappers. Here's my fancy abode tin thing. No shoes of land, by the way, bro, as it's a sacred place, of course. Lots of memories in here. Mostly crying watching rom-coms by myself, as you do. I design of it. This is the manor, or estate, or, uh, mansion. Oh, I don't know the differences, to be honest, dude. It's a big place, all right? And these are the big, well, somewhat big, gates of doom to keep out any intruder people my father doesn't like. A.K.A. me. Thus brings us to the end of the tour, dude. You're living the dream, LB. I'm telling you, though, bro. You got a better chance of hitting on a 20. This is so pointless. It's like trying to get through to him is like trying to drink a sea lion, dude. I mean, technically, if you blended up an entire sea lion, you could potentially drink it, so I think you're onto something, though. Well, when you put it that way... I can see one of his fancy helicopters from here. Yeah, dude, I used to fly him. Henry, uh, er, Dad, used to teach me back before he turned into a grouchy old man child, bro. <laughs> no way, that's amazing. This mansion is pretty nice, though. There's this much money in waste management, huh? Apparently so, bro. Makes me feel less guilty about putting my mac and cheese in the recycling bin. Dang, dog. I've told you over and over I don't care about this god of goonery, okay? So go thank you yourself. It's just me, dude. Oh, Lacey, you pissed all over your tent again? I'm surprised you managed to find the time out of your busy schedule to press that buzzer. Must be hard being a lazy slob all day and throwing your money at anything resembling a card, dude. Dude. Father of the year. Uh, this is Nate. He's my bro. Uh, we need to use one of your helicopters to find his friends, so we'll just go ahead and borrow it for a little while. Sound good, bro? Thanks, bro. <laughs> Lazy. This must be one of your most absurd stories yet. Well, this isn't getting us anywhere. Let me let me try my charms. Hi, uh, sir. I'm Nathan Flappertron. My my friends got missing, and I need to find them. And uh, you like you like move trash and poop, I think, every day for people. So I'm thinking you can use that poop money, if that's even correct. I'm just assuming here to do something good with your life, because you're clearly a knob. So sound good? Flapper, what? You know there are these magical people called the police. What are you bugging me for? Uh, I, I can't call them, because I have a uh, phobia of authority. I don't know what your game is here, you two. I don't know if this disgrace I have to deal with has paid you to put on this little charade, but right now, you're just as bad as him. Dude, he needs help. I mean, look at him. He's helpless. You might even say useless, dude. Cheers. I'm the one that needs some fucking help, Lacey, after putting up with your shit for this long. Now get the hell away from the gate, or I'm calling the police on you! That would not be in our best interest right now. Abort mission, abort! I have a full-on butt massage in the therapy room. I do not want to be disturbed, so do not call me again! What in the holy mother of goons did you do to this guy? I can feel the hatred from down here. Just the usual, dude. Dropping out of college, didn't tidy my room. Standard typical stuff. Existing, pretty much. Seems a bit extreme. I mean, he lets me stay in the tent for free, and I get the Wi-Fi password, so... I mean, if you look at it that way, dude, he's not too bad. The bucket's a bonus, too. You sure are a glass half full with a side of sunshine kind of guy, aren't you, LB? Someone has to keep on smiling for all the negativity in this world, dude. You're a national treasure. We're going to rob this helicopter! Follow me, bro! Just give me a second to process the words that spewed from your mouth. Move your buttons, Knight! 
we definitely had different thoughts on how to proceed. Dude, he's such a doofus. The keys are still in the ignition, bro. Are you serious? Here, put this on so I don't have to scream into your face and almost burst your eardrums. You just did. <laughs> I'm guessing now is a bad time to tell you I am positively and extremely afraid of heights. It's up to us, Torch Disguise! Yeah, dude! Woo! This feels so good! I haven't flown in years! That makes me feel a lot safer! Whoops! <laughs> Hand slipped on the controls, dude! <laughs> Please don't kill me, I have so much to give! Oh, come on, you're gonna give me a headache, dude, with all that fear you're projecting! Your dad is gonna kill you, by the way, or belittle you to death! Ah, who cares? Screw him, dude. This situation's gotten a lot more important than how he's going to punish me for stealing this bad boy. He'll just replace it the next day anyway, bro. Looks like those daddy issues are paying off after all. Either way, you're the man, LB. I'll have my moments, bro. I just remembered where I am. I am not happy with this situation! <laughs> I got a bucket if you need it, dude. I'm not squatting down into a bucket, man. <laughs> I meant to put over your head to cover your eyes. <laughs> I fed Calvin about six bowls of garbage, by the way. He should be good for the next few hours. I'll head on back after this little escapade, dude. As long as he continues to break my scales, then it's all superb with me. How are you going to get back, bro? I'll figure it out. I'm trying out this optimism thing. I'll call you when and if I find something. Right on, bro. I can circle around for a while. Works for me. Dude, this fog is crazy. I don't think we can go any further unless we want to be completely blind, dude. The compass is going bonkers too, bro. Good thing we're not looking to go through this fog. That lake is where I need to go. The one directly below us? I can just about make it out. It's the only lake there, so I'm assuming. Just hope you find the answers you're looking for, dude, and that those answers don't make things worse. Who cares about worse, man? We're finding Poppy, simple as that. Right on. You good to go, dude? Honestly, I am positively shitting myself. May need that bucket after all. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually a good sign, mate. <laughs> okay, bro. On three. One, two... Ah, I can't do it. Shit! Think happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Think about being at home in bed eating massive portions of food and watching fat people fall over on the internet. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Let's try this again. Ah, uh, it's all gravy, bro. We'll try again. Just make sure you pull your parachute before you hit the water. You'll be tangled up like a fly in a spider's web, dude. Parachute? I don't have a parachute. Ah! Oops, sorry. Fell asleep on the controls for a sec. Uh, everything happens for a reason, right? Splash, splash, take a bath. Never again. Never again. Hey, why you change Brenda Lake to color brown? Brenda not enjoy. Oh my god, Lenny, what have they done to you? Sorry, I may have been a little bit more scared than I thought I was. Wait a minute, you're a talking shark. Oh god, don't eat me! Eat you, darling? You wound, Brenda. Human thing, Brenda uncivilized. Oh, cool. So you're a friendly talking shark. Did I just really say that out loud? We would never eat you, darling. Human bones get stuck in my teeth. <laughs> I think I just coughed up a fish. Human suffocate? Brenda performed CPR! I just fell out of a helicopter and belly flopped hard. Can you just give me a minute or a year? Just know I am Brenda, darling. I am no rancid creature. What's with the outfit and everything? 
Brenda. Brenda get lonely on lake. Have no friend. Brenda create own friend. Can you look online for sharks in your area? <laughs> Brenda lives solitude. You wanna assume Brenda have internet? We all can't be like you and afford Wi-Fi. How dare you? Can't you ask one of your friends for their Wi-Fi password or something? Oh yeah, that's the predicament. Human mean to Brenda! Human ignorant to Brenda lack of friends! How has this happened? Brenda think human think Brenda have no friends, which is true as Brenda have no friends, but no Brenda for Brenda have no friends, as Brenda one friend who wanted to be Brenda friend, friend, Brenda friend, I can't stop saying. Okay, time to take out Lenny, it looks like. <laughs> okay, what bubbles do we got this time? Water bubble. Water bubbles will spit off into smaller bubbles on impact. They're unpredictable, so pick the best time to shoot them. Fish bubbles. Fish bubbles will spawn when a single lane is present. They will swim back and forth and come in various types. Get your sights ready and they'll end up like a fish in a bubble. Cool. Throw water bubbles at them! Convoluted nail art. The color blue. Traveling in cupcakes. Not showering for a week. You're the ultimate shark bait. Ow! Shark bait, whoa! Brenda wash you away to the other tide! Brenda destroy! Oh boy. Okay, that was close. That was close! Wanna help me wax my fins? No! Okay, there we go. Never listening. Brenda feeling snappy. Now, enjoying your own farts. Don't remind me what happened earlier, please. <laughs> Golf and beer. Wow, Kenny the shark made it to the game. Also, hi, Moz. Hey, nations in. No, this is Lenny. It's Lenny the Shark. And metal. Remember, we met him last time I streamed Yoko Watch 3, so it's definitely Lenny. You're so judgmental, darling. Hairspray and shark tips. Okay. Leather jackets and fighting! Brenda destroy! Ah, uh, Charlie. So judgmental, darling. Ah. Should be fine. We're gonna, gonna need, need a bigger, bigger friends, friends list! There we go! Victory! Let's try, baby! Oh, yeah! Nice. Let's see what happens next! Darling, I'm out of breath. Maybe Brenda performs CPR on Brenda's self. I can't breathe! Is this where Poppy went to Soul Search to debate first world shark problems? Brenda eats human face! Whoa, 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 but you two are supposed to be friendly shark friends! Brenda's friend? D darling? Yeah, for sure, we're friends now. And I'm not just saying that because you're about to murder me, I promise. Aw, now I have two friends. Yeah, I'll even tell you a secret only a friend would know. I actually dislike lasagna. Oh, Garfield went like that. Wow, what a crazy fact! You must be a true human friend. I no longer feel lonely on this lane. Just your friendly neighborhood loser doing his part, I guess. 
Yakuza helped Brenda so much. <laughs> now, I need your help. Also, I was joking about the loser part. Okay, loser. <laughs> Brilliant. Name's Nathan Flappertron, by the way. Two questions. Where am I exactly? And why does a talking shark exist? I remember nothing from the Yopo Factory tour, Nate. Because I sure haven't. This is Great Goon Lee. Brenda Ancient. Brenda, no, no, why Brenda? Brenda just talk. I am the guardian of this lake, darling. I've been posted here for around a thousand years. Impressive, right? What's the guard here anyway? The moss on the mountains? Village. Is that not why you're here, darling? I'm here because of this. This map was given to me from some weird pregnant stripper and it's a long story. I had a friend visit here and she recently returned, it seems. How do I get to your village? It's not on any of the maps, darling. And if you try to search for it, you'll be lost in the fog and lose your direction. It's hopeless. But, human cure Brenda loneliness for a tiny amount of time. So, worry not, darling. Hold on tight and we'll escort you there. Oh, you want me to hold on? Like this? I'll try my best to hold on. Ah! And he took it without permission. Without his parents' permission. No, I let him borrow it because I love him. Of course he took it without permission, you mook. He didn't just steal the helicopter either, dummy. He violated the restraining order and interrupted my butt massage. He's taken things too far this time. I want it done. The second that waste of space turns up, I want it done. I hear what you're saying, but banishment from Goonland? Did I stutter? Isn't like he's from here originally anyway. You will do what I say, Victor, unless you want all Goonland to know what's really going on out there. Are you blackmailing me, Mr. Smith? You're damn right I'm blackmailing you! I've held up my end of the bargain too many times for your behind, so this is the very least you can do for me. I've had it with him. I want him out of my life for good. But he's your responsibility, Henry. No, he's not. He's nothing to me. He's been nothing to me from the start, and he never will be. Maybe if you ever left your castle, you'd see what it's really like in this kingdom of yours. Also, it's Mr. Smith. Not Henry! Uh, I'll see what I can do. You keep me happy, I keep them happy, I keep the garbage men happy, and that keeps you happy, and occasionally me happy. Simple circle of happiness, King Fish. Don't screw with me. Toodles! Uh, just give me some peace. Your gingerness. Should I put out the alert? Yes, for now. What about the prisoner? I'll deal with them a little later. I have a brooding schedule to uphold. Sir! Stop saying sir. But it's my favorite word! Just leave! Sir! <laughs> People are suppressed. And a suppressor only lasts so long. I'm losing my touch. Yes, you are, sir. Okay. We got one chapter left tonight, and that being chapter seven. So yeah, let's see how this episode ends. Goblin Village. Interesting. We have reached the journey's end, darling. I hope your ride was comfortable. Well, I wouldn't say it was first class. I won't be booking another ticket anytime soon. Welcome, Goblin Village. Goblin Village, like the things that are in every RPG ever known to goons. There are <laughs> goblins in Goonland. But of course, darling. More green than the mucus from a child. Should have called them Goomblins. 
Am I right, lads? Am I right, lads? Delightful image. Hope you find what you're looking for, darling. Call me. How would I even do that? My sonar number is 063 825 1825. What? Guess she's gonna be the one that got away. Gobbledy gob. Where's it at? Gobble too, human. Rough raff. Wait, is this village only copyrights of just rough rafts? Holy crap! This really is you okay watch Larry Ears. Holy shit! Ah, ah, I mean, hi, how you doing? Have I stumbled upon some sort of secret role-playing club, or are you legit a green monster who probably wants to cut me up and have a Nathan barbecue? Barbecue? Firecracker too! Role-playing? You gobble us. Gatekeeper and watch our goblin village. Gobble too. So you really are legit? Let me see here. You don't mind if I try to pull your mask off, do you? Gobbledy gob. Human head cold like dead goat. Yup, that's definitely a fully fledged head. Am I tripping balls? No, you just forgot what Rough Raff looks like. Gobble us welcome you. Goblin village. Gobble too. What exactly is Gobbo 2? Sacred Goblin greeting. Gobbo 2. Well, Gobbo 2 to you too then. I'm Nathan. Here, let's shake on it so then you won't lure me into a false sense of security and eat my ass. Not in that way, obviously. I should just never speak again. <laughs> Gobbo is aware of human custom, similar to fisting, Gobbity Gob. Close enough. Nice to meet you, Gobbleus. Wait, touching you doesn't infect me with some rare disease, does it? Gobbledy gob nay, unless you count goblin aids. Usually contract within few hours if human touch goblin. <laughs> Gobbledy gob, you should see look on human face. Are all goblins as hilarious as you? Goblin elder among one of many comedians at Goblin Village. Gobbledy gob elder goblin jokes are corkers. Hear one elder make famous. Walk all goblin who can't walk well. A car crash victim? Nay, a hobbling goblin. <laughs> what brings human here for goblin jokes? Gobbledy gob don't have human visitors often in Goblin Village. I'm just in awe that this is even happening right now. Gobble ass give human brief gobbo to gobbledy gob. Behind me, Elder Hut. I'm guessing the Elder stays there. How human know? Human spy on Goblin Village. Wipe down, just a lucky guess. Sacred waterfall, sacred to goblins, gobbledy gob. Goblin homes are homes for goblins, gobbledy gob. Goblin boats for goblins who boat. Goblin tires for goblin who enjoy tires, gobbledy gob. What about that hut? Looks odd compared to the rest. Hut for human, gobbledy gob. There's another human here. Hey, gobbledy gob. Current guest, Gobney. Teach goblins of new human men ways. Gobney over by huts with tires, gobbledy gob. She, puppy's here. Sorry to cut this short, gobhead, but I gotta go. By leaving him, you'll be demolishing the patriarchy. Nice elephant stop sign. Gobolina, not no patriarchy. Details are not important. Just know the patriarchy. Puppy! Eh? Ew! A male! Ugh, get away from me! Well, you're clearly not Puppy, unless she's fallen into a barrel of toxic waste in the last few hours. <laughs> How dare you enter this village? I came here to get away from dong dwellers like yourself in the first place! So don't talk to me! You're very straight. Riveting conversation. Gobbers live goblin life wrong? Exactly! You've been living how the patriarchy demands! Gobney confused, Gobolina. Gobbity gob. Gobolina abandon Gobolina and Gobber Goblin Infant. Gobolina get office job? Gobbers love Gobolina more than sticks. Gobbers and Gobolina love Goblin Infant more than sticks. Just barely. Sticks nice. Go, go. Stop falling for the trap. You don't need him. You don't need any man in your life. 
Hate to butt in. Um, what's your name? <laughs> Fanny is my human name. Wow. If you had my last name, you'd be Fanny Flappertron. <laughs> I hate how funny that is to me. Don't think I'll let you be in my presence for too long, male! I wasn't planning to, as I'm assuming you're not one for deodorant. Let me ask you, what are you doing here and why? What are you doing here, imaginary gal? What's it to you, yogurt slinger? A lot, actually. I'm trying to find someone. Is it a m m m m male? No. God of Gunnery has a reach this far. Why don't you just crawl back into your man cave and die? You must die! I get the impression you don't like men much, do you, Fanny? I had a really bad breakup. He was a jerk to me, and now I hate the penai! But why are you trying to make these goblins feel the same way you do? Bit weird, Fanny. Stop saying my name! Sorry, it's kind of addicting. Funny. <laughs> you keep talking and I swear I'm gonna grab that dangly thing of yours and shove it down a garbage so I swear you belong with all the other males, male! Oppression! Okay, time to take her out. We will take her out! Okay, bubbles this time are not bubbles. No bubbles will appear in three, so you'll have a limited amount of time to shoot them in the correct order. Be careful. If failed, you will receive massive damage. Maybe even instant death for some. Triangle bubble. The most superior shape bubble of them all. With the power of triangles, these buggers will buff any bubbles that are currently on the lane. Take these out first, or you could be st stuck shooting the same bubble for a long time. Red skull bubble. The red skull bubble may look intimidating, but it's actually just chilling. If it touches you, it'll just disappear from your life forever. Block slash or shoot through it and prepare for some damage, basically. Just don't shoot him. Okay. Noted. Let's do it! Oh, fuck him! Don't mess it up! Go! Enjoy my fury! <laughs> Mommy, look at me! Mommy, I'm a rock star! You cannot kill the metal! Oh. Keep hitting the wrong button, stop it! Me! Okay. Now. Pay attention to me. I'll stop this D train. Got to be more patient with these bubbles. There we go. Enjoy my fury. Pain. Uh, my Too late. Pain. We found it all. Pain. We found it all. I'm gonna dip it in that.
wish you were born a female! I'm gonna shatter it into a million pieces! Into a million pieces! Oh, whoops. <laughs> Bit too long for that one. Oh, come on. <laughs> Shovel up. Okay, I thought that'd be the final blow right there. <laughs> Um, uh, um, what happens now? Uh, did I win? Did I lose? <laughs> did I just break the game? Wow. Oh, let's see what happens. Get ready. You. Oh, shit, I think I broke the game, guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Well, if I continue playing the cutscene. Okay, I kind of don't want that music to be playing in the background, so, uh. I'm gonna try this again. And make sure we don't <laughs> cause that to happen. But wow. Main game. Okay. I mean, we may have won, but I still want you guys to see the cutscene at the very end. Alright. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, hopefully somebody clipped that. Please. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do it myself. Yes, sirree. Okay, time to mesh for this shit. Hello, and welcome to my Flappatron speedrun stream. Hold up. What if I skip this? Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, time to try this again. Mess it up. Go! Can you hear me now? Yes. Straight males are pigs. You think a wang holds any power? The metal! No! Blah, blah, I'm not listening, Mel! Now! Now! You have nothing to take damage here. We can offer that one, but yeah, this one. We You're not gonna take eggplants to dinner. Ow. Ow. Blah, blah. I'm not listening, Mel. Mad screamer. Okay, I cannot afford to take another damage here. I was expecting it not to take damage until it hit me. Can you hear me now? We will wipe you out. Hey! 
It's not like it's not timing those things yet. Okay, do not touch that. Oh, okay, I got hit specific ones. Alright. That'll be more absorbent. Can you hear me now? Charlie. Okay, just go for the pink ones. Ow. Ow. The slogs will be no more. The metal. Oh yeah, I gotta do an order. Special all done. There we go. Okay, nearly got her. And for the final blow, some up. Victory! Okay, there we go. No glitches this time. Okay. Cutscene time. This time I found death metal music. You. You feeling okay? Obviously. Seriously, because you're kind of like dying. Because I'm what? Oh, patriarchy! Come on, let's get you some water or something. Can one of you goblins get this kind lady some water? I don't need no help from no male. Gobbity gob human, take bucket. Water, fresh from Elder Hut. Thank you, female. Tasty water filled with volcanicity. Yes. Human drink fiercely. Human must like Elder Toilet Water. Oh god. <laughs> goblin village, Gobbity Gob. What? You're telling me that I drank toilet bowl water that belonged to a male? Just not your day, is it, funny? Ugh, saved by males. I need to lie down. Gobble too. Gobble has informed Elder of human arrival. Elder wants to speak to human gobbledy gob. Question, what's the food like here? That's not from the Elder's toilet too, right? Goblin village food from Goonland garbage dump, gobbledy gob. Goblin village expects even more garbage in evening, gobbledy gob, as glorious feast. The trash people! I think I need to take a step back on my I'll try anything once mentality. Elder's hut. This must be the original rough ref that Nate obtained in the anime. Ah, oh, Gobble too. Another human welcome elder with presents, Gobbity Gob! Gobbo too! I'm Nathan, and I don't know what my day is so far. Elder spend days watch over Goblin Village! Human call elder... Elder. 
Elder changed human name to Gobfun. Gobbleteer Gobfun. Gobbleteer. Strong name like strong sailor warriors. Yeah, Gobbo Gobbo too. Thank you, strange goblin friends. I have so many questions. Ah, gobbly gob, elder show you do. But let elder ask human question first. What this? Shun on this question. <laughs> oh no! no! It's cold. No. <laughs> oh, okay, thankfully it's censored. It's censored. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Me too, Nate. Humans near God. No, no, that's... I don't know what you would call that. I guess a... A head in vag escapade. <laughs> head in vag. Head in vag, everybody. Gobbity gob. <laughs> Gobalina, try head in vag. Please don't. What is this for exactly? Goblin village secluded from human civilization, Gobthun. Most information now from rare visitors, Gobbledy Gob. Goblins bored of normal hump. <laughs> like exciting new endeavors, like head and veg. Head and veg. So, how long have you guys been here? Brenda and that fog keeps you hidden, right? I've never even heard of anyone sighting a real life, fully fleshed, proper gobbo before. Goblins used to live with humans. Goblins and humans. Harmony. All kinds of goblins. Skinny goblins. Slutty goblins. Fat goblins. Call them Woblin goblins. Ha! <laughs> 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 what about the ones with broken hearts? I bet they were Soblin goblins. <laughs> Am I right? You are right, lad! End me. <coughs> As Elder saying, Elder passed down story for generations. Goblins here since start of time, gobbledy gob. Thousand years ago, goblins banished by evil human ruler. Ruler feared and evil. Ruler oppressed goblins to stay in village for thousands of years. Name Stephen. Stephen the Nutchering. Stephen. Chap Stephen. Gobalas Kar Steven the Nutland. You've been here ever since. I've never heard any mention of you goblins anywhere. Wait, does the king even know of your existence? Of course, King knew of goblins, human. We stay out king's way. King stay out of goblins. For cooperation, king let goblin eat human garbage and keep treasure. Delivered in secret, gobbledy gob. Goblins now peaceful. Generation good for goblins. No more eat twigs and leaves. Gobbas get television once. Gobbly gob. Gobbalina enjoy roasted television with goblin gravy. Gobbity gob. This is blowing my mind. Careful, human. Gobbity gob. Head may swell up like bubble head. You be bubbling goblin. <laughs> Hell, they have corkers. Gobbity gob. You get visitors like me often. Gobbity gob visitors rare, lately more than usual. Gobfun and big human gobney latest here. Goblin guests wear oath of secrecy of Goblin Village. Human gain goblin name, become goblin brother or sister. Gobbity gob, do Gobfun swear oath? Gobfun? Who that? Oh, he asked me. Yeah, of <laughs> course, I don't want to cause you guys any trouble. Elder like Gobfun. Gobfun sure goblins head in vag. Nope. Right. No! I gotta ask you, Elder, was there a girl here, Poppy, maybe around a year ago? Ah, uh, Gobpy! Gobpy! If the nicknames are anything to go off, then that's gotta be her. Gobpy learn of goblin ways! Teach Gobpy dangers of God of Goonery! God of Goonery? So it is a thing. Thank you! What the hell is it? Why is this cult suddenly risen up? World have many gods, human. More gods than Elder Shakes stick at. Stakes. God of Goonery. Power indeed most grave. It's our Stephen the Nutchering conquer king. Your king? What happened to him? But his jokes were killer. Aye. Goblin king banished to realm. Where? Elder not know. Stephen the Nutchering condition for peace. Wait, why don't you try to take Goonland back? Start an uprising. 
Human crazy, too much work. Elder not risk life of elder wife and son for conquest. Goblin village at peace. Come on, Tail! Fair enough, but this god of goonery seems to be making a comeback. I've seen a lot of people following the ways of this thing. Even some of you guys are doing the chant. Gobolina no worship god of goonery? Gobolina like catchphrase for fun! Thank you! Nah, human, no nah, truth of Goblin Village! Gobthon welcome any time! Go to the Gobthon! So, you told Pop Gobpy about all this too? Oi! Gobpy stay a while! Gobpy injured from mountain! Goblins take care of Gobpy until she good health! Gobpy leave recently! Yeah, well, Gobpy was kidnapped. Probably because of what she knows. Does that mean I'm in danger too? Gopi never tell! Gopi swear sacred toilet oath! Then maybe you guys are trying to take her out. Gobthan disrespect goblins and elder, gobbity gob. Gobble is calm! Gobthan only think logical! Gopi one of goblin now! Never harm goblin! Never! Gobbity gob! Sorry, man, I didn't mean to offend you, gobbity gob. Gobbles apologize for almost ram stick and gob than spleen gobbity gob. Gobby gone! No word to Elder! Grave news to goblins! Elder very Soblin Goblin! <laughs> Soblin Goblin! Elder no stop with Corcus! Must be in the goblin delivery. Elder not much help with Gobby, but if God of Goonery come back like Gobthan say, Elder see disaster for Goonland! Well then, do something! Elder and goblins no leave Goblin Village! King become mad! Destroy Goblin Village! No goblin leave ever! Gobbity gob! Goblin never break pact! Goblin King banish thousand years for goblin peace! Human affairs be human affairs, Gobthan! But if this god of goonery is as powerful as you keep banging on about, then surely. Gobthan concerned! Anger, yes! Gobthan stop god of goonery summon! What? No, 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 no. I did not sign up for this shit. No way. I'm just trying to find my friend. Y you can't leave a responsibility on me like that, man. Gobthan, seek out Goblin King. Goblin King, only stop God of Goonery. I already said I can't. Gobthan, find where Goblin King banished. Save humans. Elder, trust in Gobthan. Goblin, savior. Gobthan. Save the Gobthan! No, I'm not. I'm out of here. Save your Gobson! Save your Gobson! Save your Gobson! How do I keep getting myself into these situations? I'm saving the world now? Great. And Poppy is clearly involved somehow. Maybe if I find this Goblin King, he can help me find Poppy too. Ugh, what a mess. Nate! Put your smokes away! I heard the chance, Gobthan. Hey, you pulled through. How's the aftertaste? I've had worse! But thank you. <laughs> Don't know why you're thanking me. I kinda inadvertently made you drink from a toilet. If you can call that thing a toilet. Saved my life regardless. Just take the apology before I refute it, mail. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Let me ask you something again, funny. Gobney is my goblin name now, schlong owner Gobthin. Gobney, then. What do you think of all this? The god of Gunery, this village, the goblins. I mean, how did you end up here anyway? I had heard rumors of a place without any men. I had. An acquaintance of mine tell me about it. Sounded like paradise. No one ever believes this place is real, though, even if you shout it at the top of your lungs. I hiked my way here, and that's where I met Brenda. Brenda's not very good at this whole guardian thing, is she? He, whatever. Why is it whatever? It's peaceful here, though, and I do believe what they say. I don't think they have a reason to lie. That's what worries me, that I can't just ignore this. I take it your breakup was the breakup of the century, for you to completely turn on your male counterparts like that. He dumped me about a month ago. 
told me I got fat, that he was embarrassed to be with me. Well, that's awful. I know! I just wanted to get away from each and every one of them stupid men! You can't just hate all men and teach these goblins to do the same just because one guy was an asshole to you. I hate the red jelly beans, but do I hate all jelly beans? No, of course not. Is that relatable? I'm trying my best here. And I don't like jelly beans! Ugh, I hate it that you're right! But you're not wrong. I've been projecting on these goblins, and it isn't fair. At least you can admit it. It's admirable. Do you want to go out with me? No. Why are all men the same? Oh, I hate the penises! Why do I even bother? <laughs> I'm still circling, bro. You were starting to worry me, mate. What did you find? Weird shit is an understatement, but I think I know why Poppy was acting strange. This situation is bigger than all of us, it seems. Oh, the plot thickens. I'll meet you at the lake again, bro. Sweet. Catch you soon, LB. You're really going to try to stop the god of Goonery, huh? I don't know what the plan is right now, but if finding this Goblin King takes me a step closer to finding my friend, then so be it. Heads and tails. Heads. What's the flip for? It's not a flip! <sighs> They're aliases. A pair of twins I know who deal in the supernatural. Ghosts, gods, you name it. They might know where to find your Goblin King, Mill. Sounds like they would get along with Nate pretty well. Heads and tails, huh? Guess it's worth looking into. Thanks, Fanny. Uh, Gobney. Wait! What's up? I haven't even told you how to find them or anything yet! I assumed you were gonna come with us. You can tell me on the way. Unless my telepathic abilities are failing. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. I think I've been hiding here long enough. I need to get back to my band. You'll take me with you, Mel? It'll be my pleasure. Well, what's you got that? Goblin. What's wrong? You doing some self-reflecting here too? Goblins call guardian shark for humans. Go up and find goblin king. Find friend. Goblins like humans. No want human harm, gobbledy gob. Gobble gobble hell yo yo gobble to. Ready to go, darlings? Onward. Okay, and with that, that's pretty much all that episode 2 of Flabbertron has to offer. And, um, as I just, uh, showed you off by accident earlier, um... <laughs> here's what y'all can expect in the next episode. In episode 3, which is coming sometime next year. No idea when that'll be, but... SMA release windows right there. Episode... or chapters 8 through 10 will be in episode 3. Definitely will be streaming that whenever that gets released. And, uh... As I just mentioned at the very start, um, there is a new survival mode boss, and... Survival! And, uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I checked this out earlier before I went live, and... It said it would unlock after I would complete Chapter 2 on hard mode, which... I did do, by the way. Um, you can see the crown right there. Survival. But, um, it didn't unlock until, uh, I guess just now, so, uh... Yeah, let's try this out. Yeah, music don't matter. Let's see how far I go in survival mode. You ready for this? Damn right. Go! They say women are crazy. <laughs> burn, baby! Burn the baby! Burn to the ground, burn! Okay, I need to learn to lightly tab that. Let's keep going. Now. Don't burn yourself out. Oh! 
Get shit blocked there. That's Sonic Crawl. For two minutes, sir. Let's keep going. Uh. Oh, crap. Now it's close. Um, you are aware that you got a new record. New record. Now I'll take it. It's close to two minutes anyway. Okay, anyway, um, I guess with that, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all there is to Flappertron Episode 2. I will be continuing more of this, even though this is one heck of a episode, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Man. But yeah. Anyways, that's about it for Flappertron tonight. And checking Twitter right now. I don't see any notifications about art. So, no artwork tonight, but I can't do it. It's optional. So, yeah. Since we have no art, and that's pretty much all there is to Flabatron for right now, at least. That's all for tonight's stream. So, thank you all ever so much for tuning into tonight's Flabatron stream, everybody. <laughs> Should have been something. Yes, sorry. But, yeah. In case any people are new to these streams and like what you saw, um, everything that you see on screen right here is everything that you know about me and my streams in general, including where I stream live, where else you can find me on social media, including where I post my streams a few days after they're broadcasted, and where to submit fan art in case you guys got any artwork that you want shown off on stream. What games I'm currently streaming right now, and since Flabatron's getting the Telltale treatment, and with me having no idea when these episodes are going to be released, um, that's why it's not on the list right there, but I will be returning to this. Keep that in mind, just don't know when for sure. And lastly, in the bottom right corner, what do you get if you saw to me on Twitch? And yep, that's about the gist of it. So, we'll follow that away. Thank you all ever so much for tuning to the Nuts Flappatron stream. And I'll catch you all again in the next one I do. With that, that's pretty much it for now, so... Have a good rest of the night, guys, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>